So what we did in the first video was we created a pinwheel and we did it an easy way. Now I'm going to show you how to sew this together so that you always get your points matching in the center. Now what I've done is I've taken my top two pieces of my pinwheel after I laid it out and I have butted those two seams up together. They call it nesting, but apparently that's not a term I'm supposed to use. It's all right, we'll deal with it. Do your quarter inch seam, and then get your other one ready to nest, and do the same thing there. You're gonna put, put it so that your seams go opposite directions. And since I always press to the dark, I like for my seams to go towards my dark. Then you're going to put that in there and sew it. And you'll notice that I haven't trimmed these. I'm using a Juki 2010, so it has the ability to cut my thread. And I'm going to cut these out now. Usually I cut them before I start sewing. I forgot this time. So we'll just cut it out of the way so we don't have extra bulk in our seams and move it over here towards the garbage. Then you're going to open this up and you're going to press again towards the dark. And here we go. Towards the dark on both parts. Turn it upside down so that you've got all your little points meeting. And can you see that nest right there? How everything's nested together, lined up nice and straight and pretty. We're going to do a quarter inch seam. And you can make it a scant quarter inch when you cross that center so that you don't lose your points. And then open it up. All your points are together. And that is a nice pinwheel. It's a little tiny bit off right there, but I can live with that. And I'm just pressing it down with my fingers, but now I'll take it to the iron, press it down, and then I'll put my other pinwheels with it. I'm doing a, uh, four of them to create a block. And when I have all four together, I'll have a 12 and a half by 12 and a half inch block that can then go into my quilt. Thank you.